Now, the World Health Organization has released its report this afternoon on the origins of the COVID-19 virus following that controversial trip made by a delegation to Wuhan earlier this year. The head of the WHO said all possible causes of the pandemic still remain on the table, including a laboratory leak, which was initially ruled out by the organization's experts. Well, David Nabarro is the special envoy on COVID-19 at WHO. He told the BBC it's rare to get firm findings, but this investigation provides clarity and direction for future work. Like everybody, I would wish that we could just say the virus came from X and mm. the job would be done. But, uh, you know, I've been involved in quite a lot of disease outbreaks in my uh, years as a public health doctor. You know, we still don't know where HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, came from. We don't know where bird flu in the 2005-2010 uh, period came from. We don't know where Ebola that caused a terrible outbreak in West Africa in 2014-15 came from. We have rough ideas and that's what these kinds of studies do. They take us into the direction of understanding the origin but very rarely are we given the absolute signpost where it says the virus came from X or Y or Z. So this, the, this piece of work that's been done jointly by WHO scientists and Chinese scientists is a really thorough piece of work. And it's gone into the different hypotheses, as we put it, about where the virus came from in as much detail as they could. Uh, there, there are all sorts of politics surrounding this piece of work, uh, which you would expect. Uh, and what we end up with is some clarity on what's likely to have happened, but most importantly, directions of further work that have got to be undertaken.